Tell me about filming the dinner party scene. There's so many people in that scene. There's so much food on the table or fake food on the table. The lighting has to be perfect. What is that like to film? Well, I was very lucky. I was sitting next to Kat, so that was much more enjoyable uh, than any, anywhere else, I think, um, because she's a really good company. So, yeah, that was like three long days, mm -hmm. very, very long days. But, uh, but everyone was like just very professional and very happy to be together. I had very lovely partners around me. So you're just like, this is your job and you love it. So it's, uh, it's interesting because I, I had a book, she had a book, we would be reading a lot. So we would like exchange about books and readings and stuff. And then she would make a lot of fun about me not eating anything green, any vegetables. Yeah, that was her running joke for like a long, long time, just like, making fun of me, teasing me because I don't like vegetables. Uh, so that was very funny because every time, every day I would come back and there would be more green stuff in my plate and I would just have to, you know, go around it and I, I would just pick one thing that I could eat. And she would just like keep making fun of me, which helped to go through three days of like hard work. Mm -hmm. But once more, hard work is just lovely. So at the end of the episode, um, your character ushers the prince out because there's a big fight going on. I have a feeling he has an interest in the prince. Can you hint at anything about why he might want to spend more time with uh, Prince Charles? Well, I guess firstly because he wants to get him away from them, mm -hmm. but also because there is good business. This guy has a lot of money. He's a royal. He's royal, he's close to the top, uh, and there is this all, yeah, I mean, I guess for him being like closer to the to the highest ranks is always interesting business wise.